for our third example. A statue is situated on top of a building. The height of the building is 100 meters. Cynthia is standing at a spot where the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 45 degrees, while the angle of elevation to the top of the statue is 60 degrees. Determine the height of the statue. Okay, so again to uh, start with the solution, so we draw this particular uh, problem. Okay, so sabi dito, a statue is situated on top of a building. So we have a building. And then there is a statue on top, okay? The height of the building is 100 meters. So yung height pala ng building na to is 100 meters. Now, Cynthia, so yung uh, character natin na pinangalanan, is standing at a spot, okay? Where the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 45 degrees. So andito daw si Cynthia sa spot na to, wherein the angle of elevation to the top of the building, so dito na, na spot, okay, is 45 degrees, okay, while the angle of elevation to the top of the statue, so same spot, pero ngayon nakatingin siya dito sa top of the statue, the angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Now, determine the height of the statue. Kaano daw ka haba itong statue na to or kataas itong statue na to? Okay, so that's our problem. Now, to start the solution, okay, so we let H be the height of the statue, okay, and T be the distance of Cynthia to the base of the building. So itong distance na to, from the base of the building papunta kay Cynthia, we let that as the variable T. So bakit kailangan natin mag let ng variable dito, okay? Bakit hindi na lang H? Kasi yun lang yung hinahanap. Okay. The premise here is that itong side na to, okay, if you try to look at it, itong side na to is common to this small triangle okay, and to the big triangle. At malaki yung papel nito na gagamitin mamaya on our solution. Okay. Para tong uh, domino effect, kailangan mo munang daanan itong T, makuha mo muna yung T bago mo bago natin makuha yung H, okay, mamaya. So, to continue our solution, okay. So, tanggalin muna natin yung big triangle, focus muna tayo on this smaller triangle. Now, kung naalala nyo sa previous video, sabi natin doon, or in-emphasize natin doon, na pag meron kang dalawang given sa triangle, at meron kang isang anon, maghanap ka ng relationship between these three, okay, these three, uh, tawag nito, items, okay? Yung 45 degrees, yung 100 meters, at saka itong side na T. Now, this angle, yung relationship niya sa 100 meters, kung titignan ninyo, okay? Yan. Ano ba yung relationship ng 100 meters sa 45? Then, ano ba yung relationship ng T sa 45? Now, hindi ko na sasagutan yan. I want you to think about it, okay? And then, complete this particular solution, okay? Now, after determining ano ba yung relationship ng 100 meters sa 45 degrees at ano yung relationship ng T sa 45 degrees, we proceed with our solution. Okay? So, ito. You try. What trigonometric function will we use here? Anong trigonometric function? Sa anin na trigonometric function values? Ano yung pinaka-applicable? Okay? Now, for the solution, so again, you fill this up. Anong trigonometric function? Okay? Na yung numerator magiging 100 meters tapos yung denominator is over t. Okay? Then of course, nangyari dito, we cross multiply. Yung t pupunta dito sa ibabaw, ito naman, okay, pupunta dito sa ilalim. Now, we will we, if tama yung inyong ginamit na trigonometric function dito, we will arrive on the same answer of 100 meters. Meaning, yung distansya ni Cynthia pala from the base of the building at yung height ng building are or is the same, okay? So, sakto lang din kasi kung titingnan mo dito, this is 90 degrees, okay? This is 45. Sabi natin last time na yung sum of internal angles within a triangle is 180. So, meron kang 90, meron kang 45. So, ano yung kulang para maging uh, 180? So, it's also the same. 45 degrees din dito. Kaya, kung yung 45 degrees dito, yung katapat niya is 100 meters. If this is also 45 degrees here, 
yung katapat din yan will be 100 meters. Now, going back sa problem, hindi ito yung hinahanap. Hinahanap natin dito is the value of the height of this statue. Masabi natin kanina, domino effect, na pag nasolve natin yung T, makukuha natin yung H. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Okay? So, kung nagamit na natin itong smaller triangle, balikan natin yung bigger triangle. Okay? Tanggalin natin yan, hindi balik natin yung bigger triangle. Okay? Yung angle of elevation natin, from 45, magiging 60 degrees. Now, kung titingnan natin dito, itong bigger triangle, okay, itong side na to, yung 100, 100 meters plus yung height ng stature, kaano-ano yan ng 60 degrees? And then the same, itong T, kaano-ano yan ng 60 degrees? Pag nakuha nyo yan, we proceed with our okay, solution. Okay? So, sagutan nyo yan, sagutan nyo din dito. And then, so for the solution, so ano yung gagamitin natin na trigonometric function? Where in the numerator, we become 100 plus h all over t. Okay? Yan. So, substitute natin yung nakuha natin ng value ng t na 100 kanina. Okay? Then, we cross multiply yung 100 dito sa kabila. Okay? So, 100 times yung trigonometric function of 60 degrees. Ano yung pinaka-applicable dito? It's equal to 100 plus h. Then, ilipat natin sa kabila, magiging negative. Okay? And that will give us the answer. Kung sakto yung pinili nyo or na sakto yung decisioning nyo kung ano yung trigonometric function na gagamitin, we will arrive on the same answer. That the height of this particular statue is actually 73.21 meters. Kung mapapansin nyo, class, uh, parang imposible naman yata na 100 meters yung building tapos 73.21 meters yung height. So, these are actually arbitrary values lang yan na sinele ko. But the point here is that uh, ganun yung proseso ng pag-solve for these kinds of problem. Na parang meron tayong domino effect na nakita. Okay? So, we have solved H by finding the common side ng smaller at bigger triangle which is T. Okay? So, that is, so, kung magpapansin nyo, yes, it, this is a level up. At kung napansin nyo, hindi ko na-reveal yung mga uh, kailangan nyo gamitin. Okay? Because uh, it's important here na ma-establish na natin or mapasa na natin yung skill sa inyo. Yung decisioning kung opposite side ba to, adjacent side ba to, hypotenuse pa, kung ano yung trigonometric function na gagamitin. Okay? Now, ito na. For our fourth example, so, ito na yung gusto ko talagang or gusto natin na marating na topic which is about course and bearing. So, kung, na, kung naalala ninyo, on the first part of this uh, video, okay, Sinabi natin na bakit natin kailangan matutunan yung trigonometry? Ano yung relationship nito with regards to the profession that you have chosen? Okay? So in this particular example, sabi dito, a private yacht sails for 1.3 hours at 5 knots on a bearing of 40 degrees. Then it turns and continues another 1.5 hours at the same speed, but on a bearing of 130 degrees. At the end of this time, how far is the yacht from its starting point? Now, meron tayong note dito, in case na hindi nyo pa na pag-aralan ito or na-discuss ito, one knot or the unit knot means nautical miles per hour. Okay? Now, how do we solve this problem? So, again, mag magagamit natin yung definition ng bearing kanina or dun sa previous video. Okay? So, we have a yacht. Okay? Sabi, sabi sa problem, a private yacht sails for 1.3 hours at a speed of 5 knots. Okay? On a bearing of 40 degrees. So, to establish this bearing, so again, gawa tayo ng linya. Okay? So, kung nalala nyo yung compass class, kung cross yan, yung north nasa ibabaw. North, then west, then south, then east. So, yung north nasa ibabaw. So, same lang din itong linya na to. This is the north line. Okay? Para ma-establish natin yung bearing. Kasi yung bearing is measured from north Okay? So, from north, measure tayo dyan ng 40 degrees. So, yan. So, this is the line, yung direction, okay? or the course, na kanyang tatahakin. And this is the bearing na 40 degrees. Okay? So, sa bearing na daw na to na 40 degrees, okay? nag-travel daw siya ng 1.3 hours at 5 knots. Okay? So, this niya travels 1.3 hours. In 5 knots, again, nautical miles per hour. So, dito magka-cancel yung hour. 
1.3 times 5, that will result into 6.5 nautical miles na lang yung unit. So this is, malalaman natin that this distance, yung travel niya, is 6.5 nautical miles. Now, after reaching that point, it turns, lumiko, and continues another 1.5 hours at the same speed. So at the same speed na, 5 knots. Pero yung bearing is already 130 degrees. Again, gawa tayo ng north line dito, and then this direction, okay, measure tayo ng 130 degrees. So from north line, yan. So, mapapansin nyo dito, naglagay tayo ng linya dito since this line, perpendicular, this is 90 degrees. Since 130 degrees yung bearing natin, lalagpas siya ng, so 130 minus 90, lalagpas siya ng 40 degrees, okay? To have this particular direction, on this particular direction. So, nag-travel siya dyan, 1.5 hours at the same speed of 5 knots. So, yung nakuha na niya na distance, or na-travel niya na distance, cancel yung R pa rin. 1.5 times 5, 7.5 nautical miles. So, ito palang distance na to, okay, is 7.5 nautical miles. Now, at the end of this time, 1.3 hours, 1.5 hours, how far is the yacht from its starting point? Gaano do kalayo itong position na to, dun sa kanyang original position. So, let P be the distance between the yacht from its starting point. So, this distance, okay, gaano do kalayo itong P? How will we solve for P? So now that we have already drawn the equivalent of this particular problem, we will now be ready to solve this problem. Okay. Now, for the solution, tanggalin muna natin yung di natin kailangan to solve this problem. Let us first establish if this is a right triangle or not. Okay? So right triangle ba talaga itong nabuo natin? Para maging applicable yung mga natutunan natin ng mga formulas. So, to, to determine whether this is a right triangle or not, tanggalin muna natin yung hindi natin kailangan sa drawing. Okay? So, tanggalin natin yan. So, let's focus our attention on this particular. So, nag-extend tayo dito. Okay? So, kung babalikan natin yung discussion natin about angles and measurement. Okay? We learned there, kung babalikan nyo yun, na yung straight line, pag nag-measure ka ng angle from this point, papunta dito, Okay? it is actually equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, meaning, if this particular angle is 130, kung didiretsyo ka is 180, so ano yung value nito? Okay? So, this is actually an angle. Tawagin natin yung beta. This beta is actually 180 minus 130 degrees, which give us the value of 50 degrees. Meaning, itong beta pala na to is 50 degrees. Now, this angle, let's call it angle gamma. Okay? Kung titignan mo naman to, okay? this line is vertical. This line is also vertical. Itong vertical line na to, okay? may, may linya tayo dito, na measure natin 40 degrees. Same line, may vertical line din tayo dito. So, it follows this angle is also 40 degrees. Meaning, itong gamma natin dyan is 40 degrees. Now, since Beta plus gamma, pag i natin yan, will have a 90 degree angle. Therefore, this triangle na nabuo natin is actually a right triangle. So, ano bang purpose na? Bakit natin kailangan i-establish? Because yung mga formulas na natutunan natin, yung mga, yung mga trigonometric function values, yung Pythagorean theorem, is only applicable to this particular triangle. Okay? Now, how do you find P? Okay? Nakuha na natin, 90 degree angle. By triangle na ito, how do we find P? Okay? Now, let's say this is angle theta. Yan. Itong angle na to. Now, this angle theta, alam natin that na travel niya from the or origin to this particular point is 6.5 nautical miles. Papunta dito sa kabila is 7.5 nautical miles. So, kung may angle tayo dito, 7.5 nautical miles is kaano-ano ng theta. Is it opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? How about 6.5 nautical miles? Kaano-ano yan ng theta? Okay? So, I leave you to answer that. Okay? But here, sabi natin, gagamitan natin siya ng tangent. So, kayo nang bahala. 
mag-understand. Paano naging 7.5 over 6.5 ito? Now, since established natin to, we take the inverse, okay, trigonometric function on both sides, magka-cancel yung tangent theta. At kung i-calculate natin to sa calculator, we will arrive on the answer that theta is actually equal to 49.09 degrees. Now, bakit kailangan natin isolve tong theta? Okay? Bakit kailangan natin isolve ito? Dahil magagamit natin yan, okay, by using this particular trigonometric function, sine theta. Sine theta is equal to, okay, the opposite over the hypotenuse. Opposite ng theta is 7.5. Hypotenuse ng triangle is P. So, by cross-multiplying this one, yung P pupunta sa ibabaw, ito namang sine theta pupunta sa ilalim ng 7.5. So, ito na yung magre-resulta. So, sinabstitute natin yung value ng theta na nasolve natin kanina. Then, pag input nito sa calculator, we will arrive on this particular answer. That P, the distance from the origin, origin to the final point, okay, is actually 9.92 nautical miles. Okay? So, there you have it. An application of uh, your, of trigonometry to your chosen profession, which is Bakit may, may angles? Bakit may nautical miles? Okay? Bakit may term na nuts? Okay? Those things is actually related to the marine transportation. Okay? Napansin ninyo uh, from a very basic example to uh, nag increase in level of difficulty. But again, the, the our intent here is to really establish yung uh, analysis and, and how you will be able to decide what type or what trigonometric uh, function you use to solve the problems okay okay if, if you find this video helpful please leave it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet to this channel subscribe and i'll see you on the next video